What's going on, guys? Hector, Hector, Hector. See, I was going to do like a recap part three, and you were going to be a small part of it, but now you you took center stage, you skunk-headed bastard. See, what we're going to do is we're going to read. You know, Hector put up a post. Again, Hector, it just it ain't a coincidence that it rhymes with projector. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we're going to do this offer real quick, though, first, Hector, before we tear down your ass. No, no, we ain't doing that. Say that one for our good buddy Hector. Anyway, let's go to the, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Where is it at? Where is it at? I know I should have been more prepared, but fuck that, right? Here we go. Here we go. Schizophrenia symptoms. And somehow this is me and Flex. Okay, the first one is unusual or extremely slowed movements. I have no fucking idea what to say there. I mean, he... He has no slow movement to me. He gets out and dances around his goddamn car. Tries to fuck ducks right on camera. Peter's not going to be happy with you, Hector. They're not. Oh, let me pause for a station identification real quick just in case I can't work this in later. Roy, Roy, Roy. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Both, both, both. You, you, you. There we go. I mean, I'll, I'll still try to work in later, but uh, just in case we'll do that. All right, now we got to look at this. See, Hector? Even DoorDash knows I'm fixing to flame your ass, and they don't even like, oh, my God. Poppy gets his feelings hurt too easy. Don't do it. All right, here's the next one. Incoherent or disorganized speaking. Incoherent. Come on, Hector. What the fuck? You mean like the times when you look at the camera and you get that little look like you really just drop some fucking, like you really put somebody in their place and you get that little head bob? And Cherry gets all quiet because he's so fucking embarrassed of what you said, but he just, he's like, I can't fucking lose the only two or three people I got left, so I got to sit here for these fucking idiots. Okay, let's see. Next one is hallucinations. <laughs> Usually related to hearing voices or strange sounds. That's not strange sounds, that's fucking, uh... Cherry, you're here. That's what he he is. He doesn't make strange sounds. I, I agree. He does. You know, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn this shit on. For, we're gonna pause this motherfucker. You know, Hector, we're getting back to it. Just calm down. All right. Let's go to the next one. Delusions, false beliefs that remain unchanged despite contradicting evidence. Holy fucking shit, Hector. Would you say that would be something like maybe a dude saying he's lost at sea and the Coast Guard's looking? Then people, you know, show you the Coast Guard's got no record. The people that at the Coast Guard says it's not true. Would it be people putting up pictures saying they're like in the fucking uh, uh, special forces and this is them, this is my picture. I've been shot three times in a former life and one time in this life. And people prove that the picture wasn't even him. I mean... Is that what you're talking about? Is that the evidence that you don't understand? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's see what the next one is. Uh, isolating behavior or emotionless facial expressions or speech. I don't know if he's emotionless. Hector's got, he's got emotions. He cries like a bitch all the time. So that's emotions, I guess. But other than that, yeah, we'll skip that one. Fuck that, Hector. All right, because of the symptoms, you may, you may kiss my ass, you skunk-headed bastard. Let's go on. Because of the symptoms, you may feel suspicious, paranoid, or afraid frequently. He's a scared little bitch. He does run away quite a bit, don't he? He comes back once a week, sits on a panel, runs off crying, makes a post every now and then talking bullshit. Yep. Hector the projector. Here we go. Let's go to number two. Uh, not care about hygiene and appearance. I don't know about his hygiene. I don't know about that. But I know he don't give a fuck about his appearance. I mean, look at that. Well, I mean, I don't know. That line is straight down the center of his head. So maybe that's one thing. Or maybe he has two appearances. It's according to which way you look at him. From the left, he looks like an idiot. From the right, he looks like an idiot. But he looks like two different idiots. I'm just saying. You know, Hector's the one. Remember, it's always, you know, no matter what someone says, no matter how bad it is. You're good in my book. Hector couldn't even fucking read a book using Audible. And that joke is, I'll explain it to you, Hector. Audible reads you the book, and you're still too fuck it. And you know you're stupid. I don't know. I'm not even fucking with you on that. Let's see. All right. The next one. Have depressions, anxiety, and... 
I'm not even going to touch that one, Hector, because I've said that before, man. You know, you said YouTube saved you a time or two, and, you know, that's great, though. If it really helped you, I'm glad it helped you. Still a dick, though. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, the last one. Use alcohol, nicotine, prescription medication, or recreational drugs to self-medicate symptoms. Where in the fuck did you find this goddamn list? So you mean if you smoke a cigarette or take a drink, you're schizophrenic? Jesus Christ. Well, for one, Hector, aren't you the one that's always coming on fucking camera drinking cheap-ass wine or something like that or whatever? You're, you're the one... You talking about Roy when he got drunk as fucking... Oh, I worked with Roy in there. See how I done that? But you talking about when he showed his fucking tidy reddies, I guess you would call them? I bet you Reese was wishing his phone was scratch and sniff. He was like fucking scratching, trying to sniff that phone. Like, come on, Roy. <laughs> Fuck you too, Reese. Striking motherfucker. Okay, let's see. Is that all of them? Well, that's all of them, Hector. I don't know. Now we'll get to the recap part. See, Hector come around. The first time Hector ever came on anything... He was up crying like a little bitch because, you know, he was fucking hammered. He was drunk as... Oh, ironically, he was drunk as a motherfucker. Literally crying about how his parents gave his brother money. And, you know, he's getting, they're getting all the money. They're getting Hector's inheritance. But yet now Hector's having to give money, so I don't know. I guess maybe your brother got all the inheritance. I don't know. I don't know. Talk to Eli about that. He can give you some advice, I guess. Let's see. Then after that, Hector would, you know, come. He would show up here and there he would come up he would you know he didn't say much he just said you know everybody thought he was a decent type person not everybody some people early on said this guy's fucking weird as fuck right i mean i thought he was weird as fuck but still yet you know whatever but he would come up he would joke around and everything so what happened was when he started his channel he, he was looking for you know he's trying to grow because you know kind of how he grew from like 40 something subs to 500 and what 40 or 50 overnight Happened to Eric on the same night, too. It's kind of weird, ain't it? I don't know. But see, he says Cherry helped him get monetized. And if you're talking about that, like buying subs and, you know, the view time of running fucking uh, streams all night trolling somebody. If you're talking about that's how he helps you, you got to look at it this way, though. You was going live every fucking day. Now you go live once a week because mental health. Is that what you were saying? It fucks with you mentally? Hmm. Looks like Cherry really fucking took care of you on that one, didn't it? I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. I think when you, you know, do all that shit to get monetized, then you're, like, on there. The more you're on there, I don't know, like, how it works. The more you're on, the more ads and shit, which I know you ain't hit the ad part yet. Hell, you not even hit the fucking $40 for stream yard. <laughs> you fucking cheap motherfucker. All right. Let's see. Then, anyway, he, he's looking for a fucking outlet. You know, he's like, God, I got to find somebody. So, when all that shit happened and Cherry showed up, Cherry's already cussed out Hector one time. That was the time that when Hector was Matt's best buddy, before he fucked over Matt several times. And yes, Hector, you fucked over Matt. I don't care what you were like. Oh, no, ask him. Yeah, well, you fucked over Matt severely hard several times. But when Matt had that day where everybody gave him, you know, money or whatever, I mean, I, I, I don't, I can't remember if I gave like 20, something. I didn't give much. But what I'm saying is I don't give a fuck what Matt did with that money. That was Matt's. But later that night, you know, Cherry's crying. You know, uh, first on the thing, Cherry's up there fucking praising it, saying, oh, I love the gay community. Well, look how we help each other. But then he sat in his car, his mom's car, and he got to thinking like, man, that was a lot of money. And I don't have any money. So he was all like, fuck, you know. He was pissed off. So then he came back that night, and he was going off cussing about it. So Hector's like, I'll save the day, Matt. Hector goes up, Cherry cusses him out. Hector admits that he don't even know Cherry that well. He's only seen him a time or two. But before, after Cherry cussed him and Hector cried for a while, he started ch telling Cherry how much he loved him and shit. Yeah, it's fu yeah, it fucking weird. I mean, I don't know if that's still up somewhere, but you got to see it. It was fucking cringy as fuck. And it was that moment I knew. I was like, yeah, this Hector's a fucking weird motherfucker. But, again, who am I to judge, right? Yeah, he can be weird if he wants to be fucking weird. But where you, where you went over the line, Hector, is when you're fucking... Uh, letting him say that shit on your panel and you're wondering why people don't like fucking come around or when they do come around it's just the people that <laughs> the people in your channel is the people that's not welcome anywhere else pretty much think about that and it ain't because I mean just because they're weird fucks and like nut huggers and shit like that which I mean that's part of it but the other part of it is they're, they're weird motherfuckers <laughs> I mean that, that's it think about it look at the comments some of them make they're always 
you know, somebody else is always bothering somebody else, but they do nothing but type and talk shit all day. Kind of like your buddy served there, Hector. All that motherfucker does is like, when he, you know, if, if he's got like a small audience, if somebody's earned his, he's like, I don't know why they pick on me. I don't know. They're just trying to get rid of me. They're trying to cancel me. But yet, Serb will sit all day and all night talking shit, doing little things like Hector did with this fucking uh, little post thing where he tagged me and Flex. I'll start tagging you in Just For Men, Hector. Watch. See, you tag me, you, you just fucked up. You think Robert Reese tags people. <laughs> Fuck. Tag, motherfucker. Watch this. Just For Men. Audible. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you some help, Hector. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not even gonna tag you to fuck with you. I'm gonna tag you on shit that you need. So the next few days, just watch. And if you take my advice, your life's gonna be a lot better, Hector. Trust me on this. Trust me. But anyway, to the end. Jerry comes up on Hector's channel. He takes it over. Now he don't. He don't like quietly take it over. He literally fucking says he took it over. Then Jerry says that he was sent. He was sent to you know, make that channel. Who the fuck sent you? Jerry, you're a weird fucking... Well, everybody knows that. We're not... We're, he was part one, so we're not going to use part three part one. But part one has, you know, the recaps. Part one is all through part two and three because part one is all the problem. That's Jerry. But see, what'll happen one day, Hector? Hector will sit around. He'll finally look around and realize that anybody that's a halfway decent person has fucking left his ass right. And he's going to come out and he's going to cry and say, yeah, motherfucker, go that way and get over your fuck. Anyway, but he's going to cry and fucking say that, you know, oh, I don't know why I was doing that. That wasn't me. I don't know and all this shit, right? Kind of like Bobby. See, I'm working in Bobby here. Remember Bobby when you, you, see, Bobby went a little ways in, but luckily he caught it soon enough. And Bobby just said some words to people. Pick up tuna for the cats. Yeah, I got to pick up tuna for the cats. I got you. We'll do that. Anyway, actually, I had forgot about that, so we gotta get some tuna, Hector. We gotta stop by the dollar store. I'm gonna go home, okay? I'll see if they got any fucking uh, hair color in when I'm in there, Hector. You ever thought about going three colors, like red, white, and blue, or something? You ain't got to. I'm just saying. I mean, you'd be patriotic. We know you ain't gonna put the Venezuelan flag on your head. Man, that was, dude. What is that trend de la agua, that gang from Venezuela? They look like pretty mean individuals. I wonder what, if they seen your video, Hector, what they would think. Ain't they down in your area, too? Hmm. Damn. Well, I should have thought about that, shouldn't you? I don't know. But anyway, Hector, like I say, when you come back crying and literally, I mean, when I say crying, I don't mean like whining. I mean literally fucking crying like the bitch you are. And you're up here saying about how you're so sorry for all this see that's the thing like i said bobby called it early on but that's still you know bobby should have known better no offense bobby but you know you can, see, you can gaslight for three days in a row i can you know speak facts there bobby you knew when you said it you, you was wrong when you said some of them words you know you caught it he was like what the fuck am i doing but you was like okay it's cool they're saying worse you know cherry and hector saying you know way worse than i am so i'm all right but then you kind of got to thinking about it and he was like no, no, that's not me. So at least for this moment. Now, like I said, Jerry's got Bobby blocked, I heard. So if Jerry unblocks Bobby and, and cusses Bobby out once or twice, then kind of pats him on the head, you know, and says, I'm just kidding, Bobby. I love you. Remember the picnic when you grabbed my wiener? Then there you go. Bobby's going to run right back over there and be like, I'm neutral, man. I'm neutral. But he won't top in the lounge no more. You can write that prediction down. But anyway, Hector, you know, like I said, he wasn't like Bobby. Hector went all the way in. Cherry didn't, you could say in a way Cherry influenced Bobby. Don't even fucking say nobody influenced you. Fuck yeah, they did, Bobby. You wouldn't say that shit anywhere else, but now you're saying it there, so he influenced you. But Cherry didn't influence Hector. Cherry, because Hector's went fucking further. There was times that Hector's been saying shit, like the Venezuelan thing, where even Cherry was like, holy fucking shit, man. You better, you know, when Cherry gets all quiet, like, oh, man, you went too far, you know you fucked up. You know you said some shit that, I mean, Damn. I'm just saying, don't come back later, because all, all Cherry did was show the true you. He just gave you an outlet on your own channel, you know, again. But he just, you know, brought it out of you and let you show the true you. Because, I mean, you can't fake being as dumb as you are. I mean, nobody can be that fucking stupid and fake it, because you'd have to be smart enough to fake it, and you're not smart enough. I mean, yeah, I mean, if anything, Hector, I mean, you, 
you're a successful dumbass. I mean, you got that fucking shit locked down. Like I said, I mean, people need to go back and watch when Hector, like, he's sitting there. I ain't talking about when he dances around the car and tries to fuck the ducks. I mean, that's pretty entertaining, too. Doing the goddamn La Bamba down the goddamn four lanes. I mean, anyway, but you got to watch the one where he looks at the camera and he gets all fucking serious and he says this stuff. And he starts, like, bobbing his head like he really says something. And everybody's like, what the fuck is he doing? That's, that's the effect you get, Hector. It's not the, oh, my God, Hector's so fucking smart. But, like I said, just watch the tags the next few days, Hector. And if you, everything I tag you in, Hector, if you'll buy that product, well, I started to say borrow money from Sherry, but fuck, we know that. Uh, it'll, take a, it'll take a while to get them $1.99s to the uh, price, but you, may, you can do a GoFundMe. <laughs> you can do a go fuck yourself too. how you're at it. But anyway, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to pick up generic products that you might be able to afford. You broke, skunk-headed bastard. You know, instead of Poppy Chulo, you should name yourself like, you know, remember Pepe Le Pew, that skunk? You should name yourself Poppy Le Pew. Was that your favorite character? I, I guarantee it was, wasn't Hector? He's like, I'm going to be like that guy one day. Well, congratulations, Hector. You've made it. Well, like I said, Hector, just watch the tags the next few days, buy the products, fix your life, and go fuck yourself.